All right, now we're talking highway tolls. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, they all have these, as you know. Is it coming here? And if so, how soon? Yeah, this is a hot topic that is once again up for debate at the state capitol. News 8's Mark Davis live in the Hartford newsroom with more on what's being discussed. Mark. Hi, Scott and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Here we go again. Hold on. There are now two, count them, two proposals on the table at the state capitol that would place electronic tolls on Connecticut highways. The Democratic chairman of the legislature's transportation committee says that now that Massachusetts has torn down their toll booths on the Mass Pike and gone to all electronic tolling, that Connecticut should be next. All other states up the Northeast Corridor have tolling. Connecticut is the only one who doesn't have it. Guerrero notes that with electronic tolling, there's no stopping, and even if you do not have an easy pass device on your car, the system takes a picture of your plate and sends you a bill. Today, the Transportation Committee moved two electronic tolling bills forward so there can be a public hearing on the issue by the end of this month. The gas tax is down. They know that, and there's no other way to do it. It is estimated that within 10 years, half of the GM and Ford fleet in this country will be either electric or hybrid. That means receipts from the gas tax will continue to decline. And that's the only current funding method to pay for the roads, bridges, trains, buses, and everything else. What I'm hearing is no tolls, no way, no how from the general public. And Boucher, who's the Republican co-chair of the Transportation Committee, is joined in that sentiment by several high-ranking Democrats. They're already taxed too much. This is a tax on our residents that have to get to work, by the way, during rush hour. So they're going to be paying higher than anyone else. Guerrero says the tolls can be linked to lowering the gas tax and discounts for people that drive I-95 into and out of New York City to work every day. But opponents don't believe that will happen. My question is, why are we spending $300,000 on a tax that no one has any intention of passing or implementing? Now, that's another hot-button issue. Senator Suzio, who was just elected back to that Senate seat in Meriden, has a bill before this very same committee that would defund a study that the state DOT is participating in to look at the possibility of the mileage tax, which we've been telling you about here for about a year and a half. That's a proposal that would charge you for every mile you drive and was recommended by the governor's uh, special commission there uh, that uh, recommended ways to pay for his uh, $100 billion 30-year transportation improvement plan. There's a lot on the table, and we'll keep after it. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.